The fashion industry is notorious for its environmental impact. From the rivers polluted with chemical waste to the massive amounts of energy consumed to produce our clothes, the environmental footprint of fashion is staggering. But amidst this gloomy reality, there's a glimmer of hope. Picture a method of dyeing fabrics that's not just stunningly vibrant, but also sustainable and efficient. This isn't some far-off dream, it's a reality, and it's called supercritical carbon dioxide dyeing. This innovative technique swaps out the traditional water-based methods, instead harnessing the power of carbon dioxide under extreme pressure and heat. The result? A green solvent capable of dissolving specially designed dyes and delivering them deep into polyester fibers. The outcome is nothing short of magic, beautifully dyed fabrics with a drastically reduced environmental footprint. So, let's dive in and enter the fascinating world of supercritical carbon dioxide dyeing. Supercritical carbon dioxide dyeing, or SCCO2 dyeing, ditches traditional water-based methods. It's an innovative approach that has revolutionized the way we think about coloring textiles. Imagine this, instead of gallons of water, we have carbon dioxide, yes, the same gas we exhale, under high pressure and temperature. This transforms the CO2 into a supercritical fluid, which is neither a gas nor a liquid, but has properties of both. This supercritical CO2 is then used as a solvent, capable of dissolving specially designed dyes, these dyes are then delivered deep into the fabric fibers, creating vibrant colors that last. It's a fascinating process that not only gives us beautifully dyed textiles, but also does it in a way that's kinder to our planet. This journey of discovery and development started in the 1980s. The pioneers of this technology were scientists like John McHugh and Ronald Fox. They were inspired by the use of carbon dioxide in the decaffeination of coffee, Seeing how effectively it worked in that process, they began to wonder, could it work for textile dyeing as well? So they set to work, experimenting, testing, refining. It was a process of trial and error, of successes and setbacks. But they were driven by the conviction that there had to be a better, more sustainable way of dyeing fabrics. And they were right. After years of research and refinement, they finally unlocked the secret they developed a method that allowed polyester, one of the most widely used fabrics in the fashion industry, to be dyed without a single drop of water. It was a groundbreaking discovery that marked a significant step forward in sustainable textile production. Through years of research and refinement, they unlocked the secret to dyeing polyester without water. This discovery opened up a whole new world of possibilities in textile dyeing, paving the way for a more sustainable and environmentally conscious fashion industry. But how does this work? You ask. Picture this, tiny molecules of carbon dioxide, under extreme pressure and heat, become supercritical. This means they behave like a gas, expanding to fill their container while still having the density of a liquid. Acting like invisible dye carriers, these supercritical carbon dioxide molecules penetrate the densely packed polyester fibers making room for the dye molecules to enter. It's a bit like threading the eye of a needle with a strand of color. And here's the magic part. No water, no harsh chemicals. Just carbon dioxide, heat, pressure, and specially designed dyes. This process not only creates vibrant, colorfast textiles, but it also eliminates the gallons of water typically needed in traditional dyeing methods. And with water becoming an increasingly scarce resource, that's a big deal. This unique process significantly reduces environmental impact. It's not just magic, it's science. The benefits of SCCO2 dyeing are numerous. This game-changing technology flips the script on traditional dyeing methods in four key ways. First, it's a water-saving superhero. Compared to conventional methods, South Carolina, CO2 dyeing can save up to 90% of water. That's right, 90%. It's like turning the tap off while brushing your teeth, but on an industrial scale. Second, it's an environmental guardian. By eliminating the need for water, South Carolina, CO2 dyeing also eliminates wastewater discharge. Less water used means less chemical waste polluting our rivers and oceans. It's a win-win situation for our precious planet. Third, it's an energy-efficient dynamo. 
The process requires lower dyeing temperatures and is faster than traditional methods. This means less energy is expended, reducing the carbon footprint of the textile industry. It's like trading in a gas-guzzling SUV for a sleek electric car. Finally, it's a quality enhancer. SCCO2 dyeing produces deeper, more uniform shades. The resulting fabrics are not only stunning, but also have improved color fastness. So, not only does your favorite red sweater stay vibrant longer, but it's also dyed in a way that respects Mother Earth. In essence, South Carolina, CO2 dyeing is a superhero of sustainable fashion. It's not just about looking good, it's about doing good too. It's about creating a world in which the clothes we wear reflect the values we hold. It's about embracing a process that produces deeper, more uniform shades and improved color fastness. Despite its advantages, South Carolina, CO2 dyeing isn't without its hurdles. The journey to a sustainable fashion industry is not a sprint, but a marathon. First, there's the issue of high initial investment costs. Adapting to this new method isn't as simple as flipping a switch. It requires complex equipment and sophisticated technology, which can be daunting for textile manufacturers. Second, there's the challenge of finding suitable dyes that can dissolve in supercritical carbon dioxide. While progress has been made, the quest for a full spectrum of vibrant and durable colors continues. These obstacles are substantial, but not insurmountable. As in any scientific endeavor, patience, persistence and innovation pave the way forward. Finding suitable dyes for all colors remains an ongoing research area. While challenges exist, the future of SCCO2 dyeing is bright. This innovative technique is not just about creating beautiful colors, it's about reimagining the fashion industry's approach to sustainability. With ongoing research and development, the process is being refined, becoming more efficient and widely accessible. The fashion world is beginning to embrace this environmentally friendly dyeing method, recognizing its potential to reduce water consumption, chemical waste, and energy use. Imagine a world where your favorite colorful clothing items are not only aesthetically pleasing, but also kind to our planet. That's the vision SCCO2 dyeing brings into focus. This innovative technology offers a promising path towards a greener and more responsible future.